everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a first impressions video with the beauty products that I hauled a few videos ago. We're going to start off with doing a face mask. So I have this uh, Freeman face mask and this is the Glacial Water and Peak Peony Gel Cream Mask. Now what I like to do is uh, cut these open on the side here and then empty them out into like a dish that I can put a lid on because I know that this is going to be too much and I can get two uses out of this. If I put it all on, it'll take way too long to dry and I just don't have time for that. In about three hours, I have a meeting at work that I need to go to. So I just don't want to have to wait too long and then end up having to wipe most of it off because it doesn't dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this cut open and then we're gonna start applying it. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Um, I guess I thought this was a gel peel mask which I don't think it is. I'm going to read the back of it here in a second. But uh, because of that, uh, I still might only apply half of it, but we'll see how well it goes on. It does say it's a leave-on mask, instantly calms and softens for a glowing skin, or for glowing skin. It's all skin types, and it says anti-pollution on it. I'm going to read the back here. Directions, apply to a clean face and neck, avoid Contact with eyes and hairline. Leave on for 10 to 15 minutes all day or overnight. That's interesting. Uh, the gel cream absorbs into skin with no need to rinse and no need to worry about getting it on your pillow. Use twice per week as often as you need. So I might not even have to rinse this off. I guess we'll see what my skin feels like. So let's go ahead and put it on. We'll see what happens here. I do have my e.l.f. spatula here. Uh, it's a rubber spatula and then it's got like um, bristled in on the end of it to help get into like your finer pore areas when you're cleansing it off. So we're just gonna start putting it on. Try to get my little baby hairs out of the way. Yeah, I don't know why I thought this was a peel mask. I wasn't reading it very well. So. Okay, so I still have quite a bit left and I just don't want to use all of it, so I will grab the lid for this and put that on there. We can use the rest of it another time. Now, normally I do use this with the peel off mask because they're sticky. I honestly really didn't need it for this type of mask and I am going to go ahead and rub in some of the areas here with my fingers. Alright, so I'm just going to wipe it off of my towel here. Okay, so it is... 12.02, oh Tati just put up a new video, you can see that, 12.02, um, in, was it 15 minutes? 15 minutes, we'll come back, in the meantime I'm going to go take care of some laundry and pick out my outfit for the day and we'll be back in about 15-20 minutes. Okay, so we're back, it's been, oh, it's been 20 minutes now, it's 12.22, and... And I guess still got like a chunk right there. So it's still wet. I guess you could massage it into the skin and use it as a moisturizer, but because this is a product that I don't use a lot and I don't know how it's gonna react to my skin, I really don't wanna do that. So I actually am going to go wash this off and then I'm going to go put on my moisturizer and some body lotion and then get changed into my clothes and then we're gonna come back and we're going to start in tutorial of using some new products I've never tried out before so we'll be back in a few minutes okay we are back um, we've got our face moisturized it took me forever to pick out something to wear it is now 12:45, so it took quite a while I ended up just deciding on a pair of jeans and a t-shirt t-shirt I'm wearing is from a shop here in town it says home it's got the North Dakota State on it. Um, I believe the shop is called Out of Town. It's in our Kirkwood Mall. It's a really cute store. So we're going to start off with a new primer. Let's see, Catrice Prime and Fine Full Refining Anti-Base Shine. It's a matte finish, long-lasting, oil-free. Once again, all these products I'm going to use are ones I have not tried yet, except for one that I used in a video I did last night. I had some fun with some Wet n Wild products and I think that'll go up for this one. So it just comes out white. Let's 
All right, so we're gonna go in with the Maybelline, what is it, the Superstay. And I have the shade um, 130 Buff Beige. Like I said, I used this last night in my Wet n Wild tutorial because I just wanted, I was sick of waiting and I wanted to try it. And this is a little bit too dark for me. But I made it work last night, so we'll make it work today. I'm just not gonna use as much. So put it on the back of my beauty blender. So I will say this goes on very nice. I like it. I just don't like the color. All right, next product we're gonna go into. Picked up the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Flawless Wear Concealer. We've got two different shades here. I have light and light medium. I am going to use the light just because I want to bring this color down a little bit. I am going to go a little bit on my forehead, chin, side, which normally I don't do in all these areas, but because I'm trying to lighten up the color, I am. Okay, I'm going to grab a little bit more just because I can see my dark circles. We are going to go into our setting powder. I got the Maybelline Fit Me in Light. Oh, wait, we don't want to do that first. Back it up. I wanted to use this underneath the eyes. So I'm going to go into that. I like that. This is a product that I bought because Tati recommended it and I like this. Okay, a lot. Um, I am going to grab under here again. And then a little bit with my beauty blender I like to use for powder. And just pull on eyeballs. I should say eyelids. Okay. Alright, back into the Fit Me. So I've got some of the lid there. Take my really patchy over here. Do you see that? I don't know what that could have been from. Hmm. I'm not happy at all that. Alright, I'm going to grab a powder blush brush and I'm going to go into the rest of that. I'm thinking that powder may have been a mistake. I feel like we just got really dark again. I want to go back into the essence, brighten up, rub my sponge in there. Just try to cut this down here. Yeah, I'll put that on even color. So, have two different bronzers here. This is supposed to be the one that's a like cream to powder that Taki said she liked. Lights, and then I have the cargo one. I'm gonna try this cream to powder. I'm nervous about it. I'm gonna grab this Real Techniques brush. I just don't really know what to do. Wish me luck. Weird. I think we're gonna move on and try the cargo one. I'm gonna grab my benefit blush brush I like to use. I'm gonna go in to work looking like I just got off the really Caribbean cruise. Or that I look like I'm a little bit. Patchy over here. I see redness sticking out here. I'm trying to figure out why it's why my redness is coming through over here. Um, let me try some more of this Maybelline Fit Me powder. Let's let that set. Let's see what happens. But for now, we're gonna move on to blush. Now, the blushes that I wanted to use 
just haven't come in yet. I was up at TJ Maxx the other day like I don't am. And I seen this one Brock one. And it was $4.99 and I figured whatever. Kind of a purpley pink blush. I don't have anything like this. Let's try it out. It's from the I Love Brunch collection. I don't know if this is sold in stores anymore. Like Sephora or Alter or whatever. I don't think it is because I've never seen it but I'm not sure. Anyways, we're going to try it out. Um, I think the color is Panorama. It says it's a satin buildable bl blush. No, I'm going to swatch this first. And that's going to be interesting. Starting to get uh, 1990 vibes from this. Okay, next two products I have here are some highlights. I have the Essence Pure Nude and then I have the Model's Own. I think we'll go into the Essence Pure Nude first because this Model Own is more of a pinky and I want to use that on the top. And I believe this Essence one is more of a subtle highlight. Because I don't like harsh lines on my highlight, I always grab my powder brush and blend everything in. But I do believe we're ready to move on to eyes. I'm going to grab the Cargo eyeshadow palette that I got at TJ Maxx. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to go in with this one first. And we're going to put that all over the base of the lid. So I think we'll go in with this color right here for the crease. Okay, I'm going to go into this color right here. We're going to step it up to the next one right there. And I'm going to go into this color right there. Okay, we're going to go into the more purpley color. Okay, the next thing I'm going to go into, I don't know if we're going to be done with that palette yet, but we're going to grab this cream eyeshadow, I believe is what it is, and I'm still not sure on the name, I think it says Dino Flats, and it says Eyeshadow on Flat Iron. I'm going to put it on the back of my hand here, I squeezed out quite a bit, probably more than I needed to, I'm going to put that on. I'm going to go back into the palette and grab some more of the, the eyeshadow palette box. Grab some more of that purple color and we're going to grab it here. Okay, I'm going to grab the Essence Highlight and put that, I'm just going to try to set that down a little bit. Okay, then I'm going to grab that other model's own highlight. Now, remember I bought that purple eyeliner that I thought was black? I'm going to try to use that on the bottom outer corner because I don't want it to go into far, so we'll see what happens here. Okay, I'm going to grab a brush and blend that in. Um, don't love it. I mean, a look is fine, but I really don't care for this. Though. That was a waste of $10. We're going to move on to eyebrows because I'm going to do mascara last. So I did grab the NYX Precision Brow Pencils. Let's see. I've got color Espresso and Ash Brown. So not twins, maybe cousins. But I do like these. These are good. The Precise Brow Pencil. I think I like these better than the one where it's just like the point. So next product we're going to do, we're going to just go in with Setting Spray. 
Um, I did grab the Milani Make It Last setting spray. Now in the video I did last night, I used the Milani Dewy one and you know I can't really say much to the actual product because I didn't have my makeup on very long. But the spray when it came out, I did not enjoy it. I'm scared. That wasn't as bad as the other one. Oh, we did forget an under brow highlight. So let's do that here. Brush, grab some highlight from the essence. next with um, mascara. I've got this one from Clinique. I thought I had used this one before but this is not the one that I have tried before. It's different. Um, the one that I've used before, I don't know what it's called off the top of my head, but it has a much fatter wand. This is a lot more precise. So we are going to try that. Well, it's great for the under eye. I like, or for the right? eye. It's great for the bottom lash. Um, what this is called. It's Clinique Lash Power Mascara Long Wearing Formula. I like the mascara. It's like or transfer. Uh, next product we're going to go into is our lips. I'm using the rock. Now I did use this last night in the video because I needed something and it was sitting there so it's a little dirty. Let's it up here. I had another color on with it so. This is called Socialite. Highly pigmented cream of the lipstick. Next product I'm going to grab is the Becca Liquid Crystal Topper. This is its Pearl X Gold, so it's pearl, it's supposed to ship gold. I'm liking this lip topper. Alright, well, this is our finished look. Uh, I guess we'll find out what I think later on tonight. So yeah, it's 151. I got about half an hour before I need to leave. Maybe we'll leave early and go get a drink. I like to get the Starbucks matcha green tea frappe. I know it's not healthy because it's got sugar in it, but it's so good. Hey everybody, welcome back. It is now 618, so I've had this makeup on only for I don't know, a little over four hours, I guess. And I've been home for probably about an hour and a half. And I've laid down and I'm just tired now. And I don't want to wear this makeup anymore. I want to take it off. So we're going to go ahead and do our final thoughts. Um, I'm looking in my mirror here and I'm noticing a lot of patchiness along my forehead. And I'm thinking that's because of that um, sculpting glow bronzer. I'm just thinking that this is a product that you need to use before powder. So I'm assuming that that's why that's so blotchy. That was a mistake. Uh, I got a hair on my nose and it itches. So we're going to do this. Oof. Okay. So like that same blotchiness is down here and then like I noticed it earlier too. Um, we had to do the powder on my cheeks. Uh, the eyeshadow. It held up well, both the cargo palette and where did it go? This liquid eyeshadow stuff. So that held up well. The yellowness where we use the brighten up is not as bad as I kind of felt it was. Like I liked it at first, and then I noticed it's really yellow, and now it's so so. The highlighter I think is still good. The blush. I still see it. Obviously, it's not ha we haven't had it on very long, but I might try this again with more of a summer look. I wouldn't try it again with this dark of a look that I've got going on with the eyeshadow. And the only reason why I tried it is because I didn't have a new one to try, and I saw that, so I figured let's try it. Uh, once again, the foundation, way too dark of a color. I was going to go get a lighter color today, and I went into Ulta, but they didn't have a lot of options, so I'm just going to have to order them online. But uh, as far as the foundation formula, I'm looking a little oily. 
So it could be a combination of the foundation, it could be the primer we used, it could be the setting spray we used. Uh, let's talk about the concealer. I do see my dark circles, so I don't know about this. Uh, it feels good, it doesn't feel drying, but I can see my dark circles. However, I did not use my Becca under eye, so maybe I'll have to try it with that. Cargo bronzer that we used. Now, I'm gonna have to try this again in another video because of messing it up by using the model zone. So. I can't give a rating on that. Uh, obviously the lips have kind of worn off. I haven't ate anything. I haven't been drinking out of a straw though. They don't give me that buildup that I always get. I don't know if anybody else has that issue, but I always get filled up along like the inside of my mouth and I hate that. Obviously this has worn off, so that'd be something you have to keep be applying. The color is still on, but I just have the color still on from this. I just have that build up. And uh, the Fit Me Powder, well, once again, I do look oily. And the fact that this has a color in it, I don't think helped with the, the foundation being too dark. Mascara, I don't see any transfer. So that's really good. I'm enjoying the Clinique Mascara. Uh, once again, these are the highlights that I use. Model Zone and the Essence. And then the... Brow products. I like. I like these brow products. And I guess the last product here would be that um, eyeliner that's that purple color. And I mean, it's still there. It hasn't transferred. I'm just, I mean, this is $10. I don't know. It is what it is. So I think that's everything. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. Thank you for watching this video, and please don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends and family. Have a great day, night, wherever you are. Thank you, guys. Bye. Um, it looks very dark in the screen. They look semi-orange in my mirror, so interesting. But whatever. You really need to get a 